Ողջին հարգելի հեռուստադիտողներ, բարի լույս բոլոր նրանց, ովքեր միացել են այսպային է արդի ընշանդի ուղղղղ եթերի նյու դեյ հաղորդումը շառունակում է իմ գործ ընկերները զիջեցին իրենց տեղը մի քան իրոպեով ինձ, այսօր իմ զրուցակից է լինելում, Վերոնիկա գասպարյանը, ում սիրով ուզում եմ այս պահին ներկայացնել բոլոր մեր հեռուստադի տողներին։ Good morning. Morning. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you for coming to our show. It's pleasure to meet you here. Do you understand Armenian? Հա, հասկանում եմ բոլորի, բայց խոսում եմ որ շատ � But is it your first language, English? Um, Russian is Russian. Well. Yeah. So you know three languages? Yes, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> great, great. Um, I know that um, many of, uh, many of uh, our viewers or readers of your book uh, asked you a lot uh, how you decided to write a book. Yes. Um, you know, I always wanted to write a book, but it was just never the right time. Mm -hmm. And now it's, you know, at my age, I think this is perfect time to do it. You know, I just want to make a difference in the world, and that's mm -hmm. the best way to do it through the book. Yeah. Um, who is your favorite writer these days? What my, is the title, maybe, the favorite yeah, book? My favorite writer right now is, um, he's actually Armenian. His mm -hmm. name is Chris Bogjalian, and he wrote one of my favorite books, and mm -hmm. it's called um, Sandcastle Girls. And it's actually in many languages. It was a bestseller, and it's a love story mm -hmm. um, that takes place in um, over 100 years ago in Armenian genocide. Mm -hmm. And he really, um, you know, touching on that subject deeply. So um, he's my favorite writer, and he actually has a new book coming up on uh, January 10th. It's called The Sleepwalker. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to read that. Can you say that it was a reason that you um, decided to write a book, maybe? Yes, I think, um, you know, because he's Armenian, there's not that many Armenians, you know, that are like, you know, writing and yeah. uh, just few. So I, it kind of like made me feel proud, you know, mm -hmm, so I just mm -hmm, really mm -hmm. wanted to, to be one of Armenian writers here. What is your dream uh, when it comes to this book? My dream and my vision is for my book to be in every high school in mm -hmm. U.S. and mm -hmm. around the world because I truly believe it can make a difference for younger mm -hmm. generation and you know they so they know how the life could be really hard and how to succeed how to survive and mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. just learn things from it so you already have a feedbacks i guess from the yeah. people who uh, already read the story mm -hmm. yes. what kind of feedback it was everybody loved it you mm -hmm. know some people say they cry too much some people say you know it's just really bothers them that things mm -hmm. can be like that and some people just get inspired so mm -hmm. everybody loved it that's that's key for me you know uh, are you working right now on other books on exactly uh, maybe the continuation we are going to expect the continuation of this book uh, and when we can yeah expect um, yes I'm working I have few few books to write I'm mm -hmm. working on uh, my next book it's called um, forgive me Nadia mm -hmm. it's another true story of another girl and um, who is Nadia she uh, forgive me Nadia is a book about a girl who was um, sold by her parents to uh, human trafficking organization. Is it Russia. a true story? Yes. As your book is? It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's a mm -hmm. true story of, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of the girl that um, was, you know, that happened to her. And um, she had a baby and they made her throw the baby in a dumpster when she had her. Mm -hmm. So it's really like another really inspiring story. And um, I'm hoping it will be out in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. But my sequel for my book, I mm -hmm. will write a sequel uh, probably in a year and a half, two years from now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What inspires you? You know, inspi what inspires me is really making a difference. That's mm -hmm. I just want to like you know make a difference in other people's life, permanent changes, like mm -hmm. for for them to like learn positivity and laws of attraction and things like that. So, uh, seeing somebody changing, that's what inspires me. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, uh, Victoria, your book is um, really very interesting and touches hearts. Thank so you. Um, I want to ask you how our viewers can uh, buy it or find it where. Um, you can buy. They can buy it anywhere, pretty much. Um, any stores. They can go into any bookstores. Bookstores. Yeah. If they don't have it, they can order it. Um, Amazon.com. Is it available online yeah, on Amazon? Yeah. 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 Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com, in eCopy, softcover, and on my own website, on the book's website, uh, mm -hmm. motherat7.com. Yeah. It has all the links. It's really easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Um, first, um, I mean, we talk uh, already and we will talk about the book again. Uh, I want to ask you where you live now. I live in um, Rhode Island. It's about mm -hmm. uh, 45 minutes from Boston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love New England. I love the you change. You like there? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. How many years you are living there? Uh, 18 years now. 80 years? 18, yeah. You were born in Sochi? Uh, yep, Sochi, Russia, yep. Um, mm -hmm. That's where they had 2014 Olympic Games. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was born there and I came here at 17. And uh, what you can tell us about your now life? What do you like now in your life? You have two boys. Yes, I have uh, two um, very, very nice boys, uh, mm -hmm. 17 and almost 12. Mm -hmm. yep. They're very good, very smart, um, very good grades, you know, play sports, play um, violin. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's, it's difficult um, in many ways to, you know, raise children in this country versus where I come from. Yeah. Very different traditions, very different upbringing. But you know, this country is really the best for opportunities and for future for children. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. to reach your goals. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they they say I'm really strict, but <laughs> they say the yeah. guys. Yeah, my boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I don't see nothing wrong with that. Of course, you know? of course, so. that a discipline that they yeah. should have. Yeah. Uh, you said one of them is uh, good in violin. Yeah, my oldest son is actually a first violin in mm -hmm. Rhode Island Philharmonic. Wow. Utah. Yeah, he's really amazing. In addition to playing football and wrestling and high honors, just yeah, they're good boys. Yeah, it's it is uh, like uh, very nice to hear from you mm -hmm. um, because uh, as many of our viewers already read the book, they can uh, already notice that the, the old life, the old descriptions are real. It's from real life, true story, yeah. and it's your life. Yes. Is there yeah. anything that you can say that you are thankful for? Oh, absolutely. I, I actually think that whatever happened to me, um, mm -hmm. all the sufferings I went through and the way I survived, I think it made me who I am now. And mm -hmm. because of that, yeah. you know, I'm able to put it in a book and uh -huh. share it and make difference for other people. If that never happened to me, then it would be nothing to write about, you know. So it's, it's you know, it's not a good thing it happened, but it's fortunate that I had mm -hmm, experience mm -hmm. that I can actually change into something positive. It's inspiring answer. Yeah. Եվ ես մեկ անգամ ողջին հարգելի հեռուստադիտողներ գովազնավարտոց մենք վերադարձել ենք։ Եվ ես մեկ անգամ հիշեցնեմ, որ Վիկտորիա Գասպարյանն է իմ այսօրվա հյուրը տաղավարում Mother at 7 գրքի հեղինակը, ով բավականին հետաքրքիր կյանքի պատմություն է ունեցել եւ մի փոքր դաժան եւ հենց այդ կյանքի պատմության հիման վրա էլ գրել է այն գիրքը, ով կարող է շատ շատերին ուսուցանել կյանքի բոլոր այն մտանկյունները բացահայտել, որոնց պատասխանները մենք ունենք իրականում եւ Վիկտորիայի գիրքը կարող է զարգվել թե Barnes and Nobles Webkaikum online թե Amazonum եւ թե հենց գրքի իր հենց անձնական Webkaikum Այնպես որ հետեւեք փնտրեք վստահեմ գիրքը ձեզ կտա շատ ու շատ հետաքրքիր հարցերի պատասխաններ Well um, Victoria it's uh, well already talk about that but um, what do you think what will give your book to our viewers like what can they really teach can it can really teach something to them absolutely of course yes it, it really is for anybody mm -hmm. every any age any you know man woman it doesn't matter mm -hmm. anybody can find something in it that they can relate to and then they can learn from it i really mm -hmm. do i think mm -hmm. so absolutely i don't want to talk exactly about the book like mm -hmm. what's going on in it so mm -hmm. it will be interesting for the viewers yeah. to read it but um can we say like in a few words what mm -hmm. is it about what they will find there um, what they will find is more of an inspir inspirational story, mm -hmm. and and it shows the how a um, child as as young as seven mm -hmm. can really. Um, the child is you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, how On the, a cover. Uh, that's my picture. That's your <laughs> picture. Yeah. Ayo. Ida pastar in hargeli harusai to gerki hands Veronica ne pokatarikum. Shad gerati kachi. You are very beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I. I it was actually pretty easy for me to pick the cover. I yeah. just like, knew it right away. <laughs> yeah. um, actually, the first chapter takes place in, mm -hmm. in the balcony you know, of mm -hmm, our fifth mm -hmm. floor apartment. So it's kind of the perfect picture just to, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. you know, put it uh, together. But um, it's you know, my survival story, pretty much, how um, I went through a lot of difficulties, a lot of abuse, a lot of you know, um, hardship, and you know, still came out of it with positive mm -hmm. mindset. You know, mm -hmm. and, was kind of have big plans, I guess, mm -hmm. you know, that I'm trying to do. Have you, know. you ever asked you to yourself why it happened to you? Yes, of course. I asked why. You know. What do you think? I, I, I think I, when I was younger, I really didn't know, you know, mm -hmm. I couldn't find an answer for it. I read a lot of books mm -hmm. because I was searching for that answer. Mm -hmm. But now I think it was, it happened to me exactly because I guess destiny knew that I'm strong enough to handle it and mm -hmm. that I can use that 
to you know um, make changes for other people you know mm -hmm. to even if one person can get saved or two you know there's a lot of things in the book that you can read and be like you know what I my life isn't that bad mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. I, it could mm -hmm. be much worse so I should be thankful I should be happy and you know for for things that I have you know mm -hmm. so that's that's what that's what I think it was meant to be for me to go through that yeah it's really sad to hear I mean uh, for all the people who already read the book, they, they will understand what I'm talking right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't want to um, yeah. open many sentences. But um, it's interesting how you decided to write it in English because it's not your first language. Yes. How, <laughs> <laughs> how it happened? Um, I, I don't even know, actually. I, it, it's just like, um, it's almost like a miracle. I can't even believe I even wrote it in English. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Russian is my first language, actually. Russian, so, yeah. yeah. And then, you know, um, I, I don't know, I was taking some classes in English um, mm -hmm. in, in college, mm -hmm. Radan College, and um, there was a professor who's not alive anymore, but his name was Richard Walton, mm -hmm. and he was English professor in Brown University and Radan College, mm -hmm. and he told me, um, you know what, um, at the end of the class, you need to write a book, because every paper I wrote, he read it to whole class, because wow. he really liked it. He said, you really have a good, easy way of explaining things, yeah. you know, people can visualize it easily, and um, he's like, you really need to do it. Mm -hmm. When you need help, come get me and I'll help you. And when I was ready, I went, but I found out he died mm -hmm, in 2012. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And, and it was hard, a lot of things I had to look up. My best friend Lisa, she, I, I was texting her every day when I was writing, what yeah. is this, how do I say this, what do yeah. you do? Yeah. And you know, and- How um, can I explain this yeah, yeah, it was really hard, you know, I had to look up a lot of words, but you know, I did it. So. I know, but in your hard life, can we say it like that? Yeah, of course, yeah. absolutely. Uh, in your hard childhood, um, there was a person whom you really liked, love. Uh, that big love was your grandfather. Yes. Yes, he was really Can you amazing. tell about him a little? He's really uh, one of a kind person. I really wish everybody had that kind of grandfather, you know. Mm -hmm. um, he was always there for me, never judged. He didn't know a lot of abuse mm -hmm, that mm -hmm, was going mm -hmm. on. He didn't know details. I didn't mm -hmm. want to stress him out. But he was really one of those people who was always positive. He went through uh, World War II. Mm -hmm. He took Berlin. He was in Stalingrad battle. Oh. He had like hundreds of medals. It's mm -hmm. like amazing, you know. And, um, mm -hmm. and he was just always teaching me uh, Mm -hmm. you know, what to do and, and, and how to survive and how to stay positive and that mm -hmm. I can do it. Yeah. He's really amazing, yeah. So uh, in the end of our conversation, I want to add something more that for our viewers so they can know that you are from pretty good family. Yes. Because yeah. your parents uh, were, uh, they having a very good job. Yeah, my mother's a music teacher and Whoa. my father's a doctor. Whoa. Yeah. But it happens to you. Right, yeah, it's, it's really, it's, it's very interesting. Let's it's really say. interesting, yeah, yeah why it happened like that. A good family, you know. Yeah. And, and, um, so many nice. abuse, yeah. so much abuse. Yeah. I wish you good luck. Thank you. And I hope um, I'll meet you here again uh, when we'll see the second part of the book. Mm -hmm. it, uh, I hope it will be in one or two years. Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So I wish you best of luck. Thank you. And everything you want to see in your near future, mm -hmm. let it be like that. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate it uh, here and that uh, you came here. Thank you so much. Thank you. Արգել հերուսայի տողներ այսպայի համար այս կանը Վերոնիկա գասպարյան դեր մեր տաղավարում այսօր հյուժ Mother at 7 գրքի հեղինակը, այն կարող եք ձերգ բերել թե ոնլայն և թե պարձապես գրախանութներում այցելեք, պնտրեք, գտեք գիրկնի սկապես հետաքրքիրը